Firetech Firing Systems continues to come out with new and exciting devices that are all fully compatible with previous Firetech equipment. Here we have the new FTQ99SX Advanced Controller. As you can see, this controller is made of the similar rugged fire-resistant fiberglass panels. This compact and extremely capable tabletop or handheld controller provides bi-directional communication across the FireTech devices through the FireTech wireless mesh network. The controller comes with a USB-C interface for charging, loading scripts and audio files, and also for updating firmware. This controller is optioned with the internal high quality audio player with a 3.5 millimeter jack. This controller also has the capability to both receive and send timecode. And we'll go ahead and fire it up here with the power button. And the first thing we'll notice here is this large colored screen that is full of useful and helpful information for your show. The FireTech system consists of FTQ modules with multiple rail interfaces, and each of the FTQ rails have 16 channels or cues. And similar to the original controllers, you see we have four dedicated rail buttons to select the rails, and then we have a bank of channel or cue buttons for the 16 channels on each rail. We also have the similar previous and next buttons, allowing us to navigate through menus and to scroll through the connected modules. However, there's a number of new features with this controller and dedicated buttons to simplify the access and menu features with the controller. There is a dedicated audio player button to access the audio player function. There's a button for the settings menu. There is a shortcut button for some advanced features. There is a dedicated safety zone button, which allows you to deactivate and reactivate firing of various areas or zones of your show. There's a dedicated sequence button, allowing access to firing sequences in your script. We'll let the controller know that we want to manually fire by selecting the manual fire button before selecting the rails and channels. There's an auto button for playing and pausing the script and a dedicated step fire button that can also be used for jumping to the next event in a script and to toggle through any detected errors in the system. And we have a dedicated button for accessing the menus associated with scripts. And up here in the top left, we have a key cylinder, which allows us to toggle the system between a test state and an arm state. Well, this was a very brief introduction to the new FireTech FTQ 99SX Advanced Controller. So check out the additional videos demonstrating the capabilities of this impressive device. <laughs>